Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I really wanted to get into the holiday spirit and recreate a classic red look for you guys. So we're going to be doing bold lips and just something soft and bronzy on the eyes. And before we get started, as always, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and hit that like button and notification bell down below. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then just please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I want to do with you guys is I want to moisturize my face. So this is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate that I'm going to be using um, today on my face and it is by Kiehl's. What I want to do is I want to carve out my brows just to give us a more sharp look. I'm going in with the, this is a new product that I got from Ulta. This is the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. And hopefully it is decent so that we can get a good look today. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to apply my eyeshadow base as well. So for that I'm going to go in with, um, this is the Tarte Concealer. Now, this is not a new product of mine, but it is new. I got a new shade from Ulta, so I wanted to try it out. The one that I originally use is in the shade Light Sand. So today I'm gonna try out the shade Light Honey, Light Medium Honey. So I kinda wanted to get just a little bit of a darker shade. I find the one I have is super light. So, yeah. Blend it out. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set set that concealer. And again, I'm using another Catrice product that I haven't used before. This is brand new, and this is the Light Illusion Loose Powder in Yellow Matte. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, before I forget, I'm gonna prime my face. And today I'm using another Catrice product and this is the Mattifying Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Primer. I do love pore refining and I love a, a matte primer. So this one was really intriguing to me so I hope it works out. It feels pretty good. It's very moisturizing and it feels like it's drying down pretty matte and pretty quickly. Okay, so we're going to go back into eyes and today I have another new product for you guys and this is the, um, I don't, I think it's new, like I don't know if it's been on the shelves for a long time, but this is a Morphe palette and this is the 35F Fall Into Frost palette. So I'm super excited to use this. It's basically has 35 shades and yeah, I'm really excited. They're all, I guess, holiday shades. I don't think I've ever owned a Morphe palette, so I'm pretty excited. I only hear great things about these palettes, and yeah, so this is it. I'm pretty excited, so we'll open it up, and then you have, of course, the plastic sheet with all the names on it. And most of the shades are shimmer shades and metallic shades, and then you have the bottom row. That's all matte shades down here. So I really like that because honestly, that's really all I use. And then I have a wide variety of glitter. Today we're gonna use this to recreate a nice bronzy eye makeup look that we're gonna pair with a nice bold red lip. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with, and I'll give you guys the name of the shade as well. So this is gonna be Bliss. So we're gonna go in with Bliss and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. And then we're gonna go in with the shade. This one is gonna be sand. So this is what it looks like here. I'm just gonna pop that color right into my crease. Oh, also guys, I wanted to tell you that this shade was on sale at Morphe and it was originally $26, I believe, and it was on sale for 15. So I feel like I had to grab it, like it was there. Did I really need it? No, but it's 15 bucks. So here we are. So 
So to deepen up the outer V of our eye, I'm gonna go in with the shade. One is Tureen. Okay, so I kind of want to deepen up a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And this is the shade um, Fortune. Okay, so I think that is pretty good. The next thing we're going to go in and do is we're going to put the shimmer shade right all over the lid. So we're going to keep this nice and simple, but Almost like you did a lot, but you didn't. So I'm gonna grab my finger and I'm not sure what shade I wanna do yet. Um. Let's go in with 24 karat gold and it's this shade right here. So I'm going to go in with an angled brush, it's the MAC 208 brush, um, and then I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner, and this is my favorite drugstore liquid liner, it's amazing. For lashes today, I'm using the Eyelure Lashes, and this is the Nicole Guerrero Collaboration Lashes. These ones I picked up from Ulta, and I've worn them a few times. I really like them. They're affordable, and they just look really nice and really glam. So I'll show you guys them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and apply these off camera, and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so I'm back, and this is what they're looking like. They're super pretty, super flary, and they're just my kind of lash. I usually tend to lean for a lash that kind of looks like this. So next thing we're gonna do, since we're done, pretty much done the eyes, we're gonna go into foundation. And today I'm gonna use my favorite drugstore full coverage foundation. So next we're going to go ahead and apply some concealer and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that everywhere that I highlight. And I'm just going to go ahead and buff that out. But what I am going to do before that is I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Catrice um, concealer just to brighten up the under eye just a little bit. Okay, so after we're done blending out the concealer, I'm just gonna let it set a bit and then I'm going to do some cream contour. So today I'm gonna be using the Pro Conceal LA Girl concealer and this is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And then to buff that all out today I'm going to be using my new e.l.f. brush and this is the blending brush. Okay, so after that's all buffed out, we're going to go ahead and set the concealer and I'm going to be using the new um, Loose Powder by Catrice. And by the way, this is their Banana Brightening Powder, so that's what intrigued me. Okay, so we're going to let that sit for a little bit and then just to see how this, this product really break, bakes on the face. So while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and um, 
bronze up my face a little bit and set that contour. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl, um, this is the Pro Face High Definition Matte Press Powder. And this stuff is so affordable and so damn good. So I recommend this if you guys are looking for a just a new bronzer in your makeup kit. After you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to apply some blush. And today I'm using another Catrice product. And this is new for me. This is the um, strobing blush and this is in the shade Mrs. Summer Peach. I'm gonna swipe off all the excess powder. It's so fine that like just by doing my my bronzer it kind of came off by itself. But it seems to look pretty good. I like how it's setting into my underneath my eyes. It looks pretty good. You really look filtered, which I really like. So, so far so good. We'll see how it kind of holds up with my oils. So we're almost on the face. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face a little bit just to kind of blend all the powders together. Before I forget, let's go ahead and finish out the under eyes. So I'm going back into the Morphe palette and I'm gonna go and grab a, basically like a darker brown. So I think I'm gonna go into this one right here. I'm just going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brush and this is the one that came with the Soft Glam palette. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of highlight in the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this color and it is called, it's so beautiful, it is called Visible. I'm going to do is we're just going to apply our red lip star of the show and this is the red lip by Fenty Beauty it's the uncensored so beautiful I love this I wait for the holidays every year to put this on because it's so nice and there's no red like it to line my lips today I'm using my Maybelline lip liner in the shade red You guys so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe down below if you aren't already if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified for all my future videos i've got a lot of looks coming up for the holidays so you don't want to miss that and i appreciate you guys for being here thank you so much for the love and i will see you in my next one bye guys